Have you ever seen this particular message like your account has been restricted or you know you've reached your weekly connection limit? If you have, then this is the video for you. This video will show you how to bypass those limits in an ethical way without doing anything that violates LinkedIn's rules. Let's get deeper into it. The actual connection limit per week is close to 100, but that varies based on the size of your network. The lower the connections you have, the lower your limits will be. How old your LinkedIn profile is, if it's a brand new profile, it's much more likely to get restricted if you're doing too much activity because LinkedIn thinks you're a spammer and then your average daily activity. If you're more active on LinkedIn, you're posting on there, you're commenting on other people's content, then your social selling score goes up and you become an even better LinkedIn user. So your limits go up. All right. So what do you do? How do you get past that? Relax. There's multiple ways to do it. Tip number one, use the invite by email option. So LinkedIn actually allows you to invite people if you know their email ID. So let's say you have a Gmail account and you want to actually sync all of the people you know based on your gmail just click on the gmail button sync your email contacts and what linkedin will do is that it will try to find those people on linkedin so let's say you have friend1 at gmail.com so linkedin will try to find friend1 on linkedin if they signed up to linkedin using that gmail id and that's how they will connect you to them on linkedin because you already know them so the hack is if you actually want to connect with people you don't know you somehow have to find their gmail or yahoo addresses or whatever address they signed up to linkedin with and basically use that method to connect to them on linkedin one way of doing that is to go to sales robot sales robot will actually help you find their profiles help you find their personal email so you just need to import your sales navigator search give it to sales robot sales robot has a database of over 700 million users as well as their personal emails so it will be able to match those emails typically at a 30 to 40 percent rate and then you'll be able to connect with them without bypassing the limits so that's first method the second method doesn't actually bypass the connection request is uses something called in mails on linkedin in mail is a really great great way to get in front of people and they have a very impressive response rate of 18 to 25 percent compared to mere three percent when you do a cold email they have a high open rate more than 50 percent of your prospects do open in mails and you can send them to people you're not connected with so you don't have to restrict yourself to just people you you're connected with the biggest problem with in mails though is that linkedin is very miser with credits so i think you get a maximum of 15 to 50 in mail credits to send in mails to people you don't know but there's a hidden hack that you might not have heard of that gets you more in mails. If you actually go to somebody's LinkedIn profile on Sales Navigator, and if they have this gold icon and this green open button, this means that they have a premium profile and they're open to receiving an in mail from you without consuming a credit, which is massive. Even if they're not your first degree connections, you can get in front of them with an in mail, which is amazing. Now you can either do it manually or you can use a tool like Sales Robot to automate this. So what Sales Robot is able to do is they're able to find those dream customers that also have have this open button and then you're able to automatically reach out to them with an in-mail and catch their attention get more responses from them the other method is that you can send messages to fellow group members and event attendees now you don't have to automate it what you have to do essentially is find linkedin groups that are in the area that you're interested in for example i am very interested in social selling so there's a group called linkedin social selling which has a lot of people who are interested in the same topic as i am so linkedin allows you to reach out to them with one click even if you're not connected to them so you're able to send them a message they'll see it and they'll respond to it the same goes for event attendees if somebody's attending an event you can reach out to them the downside is this doesn't show up in their main linkedin inbox it shows up in the others folder which lowers your response rate because a lot of spam messages actually end up in that folder and you get a lower response rate like the typical response rate we've seen with this tactic is one percent but the good thing is that you can send a lot of them right you can send about 200 group messages to group members a day as well as 200 messages to event attendees a day of course you can do this by hand but if you want to automate it sales robot has some capabilities for it tip number four is again you should prioritize quality over quantity you don't need to send that many messages if you're personalizing right if you've done your research well and you just want to reach out to the right prospects then you don't have to you know send hundreds of messages right you can just send like 10 or 20 messages and get more responses for example target users who've engaged with a certain post or a hashtag that's actually a much better way to find people who would want to have a conversation with you without spamming a lot of people right so that's the other way so don't actually look at bypassing the limit prefer you know quality prospects over just a quantity tip number five is send engaging messages this is one of those things that i shout from the rooftops never spam people always make them feel like this message was written just for them one way to do it is obviously 
obviously manually you go and read their profile and find out what to say to them to catch their attention the other way is that you can also automate it using ai so what sales robot is able to do is that we're able to pick in parts of information from a prospect's profile that you can use to personalize this includes information like volunteer work that they've done or recommendations that they've had mutual connections that you both might have platform is able to pick these pieces of information and actually reach out with a engaging message based on those pieces of information and you get a very high response rate using this tip number six for you is optimize your profile some of the key elements of a good linkedin profile are a good pro photo you know a good cover image a really good summary accurate and up-to-date info on your job experience as well as list of skills awards achievements recommendations uh, if you have those people think that you're a person of value and they're much more likely to connect and engage with you and you don't come across as spam right to sum it all up in theory you can get past 100 connection requests a week through open in mails through uh, invite by emails through event and group messages but should you i think no you should prioritize quality over quantity as well as prioritize having a good linkedin profile so that you're able to make the most of whatever little you send always focus on conversion over just volume because that actually drives quality leads and quality clients that's it for this video if you're interested in learning more about linkedin tips and tricks to get more leads from linkedin we're here we're there for you hit that subscribe button take care now Bye bye